Hey friends, I'm in a meeting this morning, so I am leaving this video with Miss Gogol for you guys to do this step-by-step -step drawing today. Uh, remember, when we do drawings like this, you can always add your own details, but this is gonna be a fun one. We have done the farm drawings before, but we are going to give it a little bit of a Halloween twist. Now, if you don't want it to be a Halloween themed one, you can always kind of do your own details to it to make it just look fall, and I'll give you those tips as we go. So first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw the horizon line. So the horizon line is where the sky meets the ground, okay? And the horizon line is horizontal. That helps you remember it. Horizon line is horizontal. This is the sky and this is the ground. And remember when we color later, everything that is from here down to this is sky. So we don't just color a little strip of sky at the top. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make this kind of look like a spooky Halloween pumpkin patch. So we're gonna take it right here, this is the ground, and we're gonna do a straight line down the middle. We're gonna be drawing this in perspective, but uh, since I'm not there and we're just kind of simplifying these steps, we're gonna kind of keep it as simple as possible. So the first step is just gonna be drawing straight line. All these lines are going to be coming towards that middle point because that would be what we call a vanishing point where our line of vision vanishes over that horizon line. So I'm going to start right here where this one was and I'm going to do a diagonal line here and a diagonal line here like when we do road drawings. Many of you have drawn road drawings with me before where it looks like it goes over the hill. Remember, if at any time I'm going too fast, just ask me to to pause the video. So I have a horizon line that goes all the way across, a straight line just on the ground, notice it didn't go up in the sky, and then diagonal line, diagonal line. Next, I'm gonna start right here where I was, and I'm going to do another diagonal line all the way to the end of my paper. And then I'm gonna do another diagonal line all the way to the end of my paper. I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna start right here where I was, and I'm gonna try to go about halfway through, diagonal line all the way to the end of my paper. I'm gonna do one more, diagonal line all the way to the end of my paper. So as a quick review, horizon line, line down the middle splitting it in half. Then I'll do a diagonal line and a diagonal line. Another, another, and continue. Now I'm gonna stop there, but if you have more space up here in the section, then add a couple of more. Your rows, this is gonna be pumpkin patch, your rows of pumpkin may be a little closer than mine, and that's fine. Remember to pause, ask Miss Gold to pause if I'm going too fast. All right, now, when we have done these before, we've drawn a farm drawing before. Many of you have done these with me before where we drew a farm. And if you haven't, that's okay. I'm gonna show you what to do. But we want to remember that if it's in the foreground, it's closer to us, so it's gonna look larger. So watch an example of that before you start drawing. Don't draw it yet. But if I'm gonna draw a pumpkin here, and I'll show you a couple of different ways to draw pumpkins in a second. But if I'm gonna draw a pumpkin here, let me scoot that up so you can see what I just did. I am going to draw it larger. You might even see details like vines coming off the pumpkin, okay? It might be attached to vines and leaves on the ground. But if I draw a pumpkin way back here, it's gonna be very small because it's farther away, okay? So what I want you to do, this is a pumpkin patch, so I want you to start filling this in with pumpkins. But before you pause me to do that, I want you to look at a couple of different styles. One style would just be to draw a rectangle with an oval. You could do a little vine if you wanted to add some details and some leaves. And how I did the vine is I just did a little line and a loop in my line and a little scribbly out. To do the leaves, I just do a curve line like a rainbow arch, and then a curve line like a smiley face, kind of giving it that little point on the end like a teardrop. 
But if it's close to me, I'm gonna say more details like little lines in the veins. Now, if we want to do just these simple pumpkins, it's really easy to add faces to these pumpkins. Now, yes, I know that a pumpkin, growing in a pumpkin patch probably wouldn't already be carved, but I thought it might be fun for a Halloween picture to add some faces. Now, if you do, do not want this to be a Halloween picture, if you want it to be just fall, you're just gonna put in pumpkins. Another way to draw a pumpkin that is a little bit more detailed, I would pick one or the other, is to draw a square, do a skinny oval, another skinny oval, a skinny oval, and you build on that just a few ovals on each side, okay? Now, if you're just drawing a regular pumpkin patch that is not Halloween, you might want to do that. All right, so I'm going to draw in some pumpkins. If you need a few minutes to do this step, you can pause me, but I'm just gonna draw in a few. Notice if it's kind of halfway up, they're gonna be a little smaller. If it's closer to me, they're gonna be a little bigger. If they're far away, they're gonna be tiny. Foreground, bigger because it's up close. Middle ground, a little smaller because it's farther away background itty bitty. It's going to give us that sense of perspective. Remember not all pumpkins have to be perfectly shaped. I sometimes for our front porch like to pick out the ones that are a little bit lopsided. I think they're interesting. Now once you kind of place in your pumpkins and you have them where you want to go, you can add in some vines maybe some little pebbles or rocks in the dirt. A couple of little weeds growing up here or there to add some texture. Because when you color, you'll probably color this bottom section brown because it would be dirt in a pumpkin patch. Maybe little tufts of green here or there to look like grass. Okay, add faces to any of the ones you want if you're gonna do this a Halloween picture. Okay, now up here on the horizon line, what we usually do when we do these drawings is draw a barn and a sunset, maybe a fence. We're gonna kinda take a spooky twist on this. Instead of a barn back here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a haunted house. Now, if you would rather have a barn, if you wait just a second, I'll show you what that would look like off to the side. I would want you to pick one or the other. Either go with the kind of Halloween feel with the haunted house in the background or with a barn. So for the haunted house, we're gonna do two small lines up right here, even with that horizon line. Scoot that paper down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Then I'm gonna go, and you can make yours your own shape, but I'm just gonna show you a simple shape to a haunted house. We're gonna go out, out. And we're gonna go up, up. In, in. Over here, I'm going to just connect it right there. I can then add on another section if I want. Up, up, out, out, diagonal, diagonal, and draw lots of windows. We want lots of windows in this house. Big door. And lots of windows. Now, I will probably, when it comes time to color, 
want to color my haunted house black with yellow windows glowing. So it really kind of sells that haunted house look. And you can do that in a minute, but you can, I'm gonna go ahead and color mine so you can kind of get the feeling of what it's gonna look like. Now, if you're going for a fall theme, you don't want the haunted house spooky look. I get that. I don't like scary stuff very much either. I kind of like the spooky looking haunted house here. But I wouldn't want it much scarier than that. If you want a barn instead of a haunted house, I'm gonna show you how to draw it here, but you could do it in the middle or you could do it off to the side. I would pick one or the other. So I wouldn't do the barn if you've done the haunted house. To do the barn, you can just do kind of a square like this with a rainbow arch on top, keeping it simple. Another square with an X through it. And then for a silo, a tall, skinny rectangle with a rainbow arch on top. So if you're doing the barn look, you could do little ones coming out like this for a fence. Put little horses in there, little pigs, whatever you want. So that would be if you're doing a fall farm. If you're gonna go with the Halloween look, which is what my finished example was that I showed at the beginning of the video, you're gonna wanna stick with just the haunted house. Next, to make it a little bit spookier, you could add a broken fence off to the side. So kinda like I did here, I'm gonna do a few up, maybe one kinda crooked and laying over and a few more up, and then one kind of crooked laying over and a few down, and then kind of make it look like these fence rows are kind of falling in on themselves, make it look old. We can have maybe a spooky ghost coming out of the window or out of the top of the house. To do that, I'm gonna kind of do two lines up, kind of like I'm drawing a speech bubble. And then I'm gonna go kind of a squiggly line up and a squiggly line down, draw a spooky face on it. Nothing too scary. Remember nothing that would scare Kinder Baby. I can draw bats in the sky. So to do a bat, I'm gonna draw one that's gonna look a little bit too large in a minute just to show you the steps, but do just a tiny little polka dot and two little dashed lines like that to look like the ears. Line out, line out, and kind of a zigzag underneath. That's as much detail as you need if it's up close. I mean, if it's far away. If it's up close to do a bat, it's a circle. This one's maybe a little bit too big. You can make it a little smaller than that. With two little triangles on top. Rainbow arch, rainbow arch. Zigzag line in, zigzag line in, and then you just fill those in black. Okay, and then you're gonna add any of your own details. It might have moon in the sky, maybe some stars that are glowing. Okay if you're doing the haunted house. If you're doing a fall fun on the farm picture, you might want in the center a sunset behind it with sun rays. I'm gonna have both examples up finished so that you can kind of choose which look you would like. All right, add your own details. Once you have drawn it with pencil, then trace with marker and then color with crayon. Have fun guys, bye.